All right, Virgo, this is going to be your weekend reading. Let's take a look and see what the messages are for this weekend for you. Okay, and the weekend is, oh my goodness, December 22nd through, we're going through to Christmas, December 25th, okay? Long weekend. And Merry Christmas! Happy Hanukkah to some of you. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. All right, let's get into this. You've got commitment. Things are getting serious. You've got challenges. Make a decision. Work on inner healing. Okay, and you have one more. I felt the need to get one more, and you've got a yes. Luck is on your side. Okay, looks good. Um, so there's challenges to a relationship, Virgo. Okay, um, some type of committed relationship. I do feel luck is on your side and things will work out. Um, but there is a commitment here. Um, there's a getting serious with someone. And this will happen over the weekend. Um, there will be challenges to this relationship. Okay. Uh, there could be financial challenges. There could be simpatico challenges. There could be alignment. There could be religious. There could be economic. I said that. There could be um, geographical. Whatever the challenges are. In a, in a particular relationship with someone, um, I feel like you guys and you and whom your person are will be over, uh, able to overcome some challenges, obstacles, some differences, okay? Yeah, you're going to be feeling like you're pushing, um, you're pushing the, um, like a boulder up a hill for sure, but um, it's going to work out. Luck is on your side. If you see a ladybug over this weekend... Um, that's confirmation for you, okay? Um, you may get a proposal even over the weekend or receive a gift um, that's related to committing. So you could receive a promise ring, you could give one, you could, there might be a gift, you could get a key to somebody's home um, or some significant symbol that will tell you, okay? And it's tangible, it's a tangible thing of a gift, it's a gift that will that will that will tell you that things are getting serious between you, okay? Or that this person wants things to be serious between you, okay? Um, and I feel like you're gonna say yes. It, I'm hoping this. Uh, I'm not hoping. I, I think this person is hoping that you will say yes when they send this to you when they give this gift to you, okay? So, I mean, yeah, okay. So something has come to an end and there is now the light on the horizon. The sun is coming up in this scenario. Okay. So I don't know what that means. You might, you and this person might have not been talking. Their might have, relationship might have ended, but now there's some change here. Okay. And it's taken a long time perhaps for someone to actually take the relationship seriously okay the knight of pentacles it's like long drawn out but this is a serious commitment the knight of pentacles is the serious offer coming in here okay um you may you you might even like this is even an, somebody surrendering not you this i mean you might too but this is an energy of someone who is surrendering and saying okay let's do this despite the challenges We'll make a decision to work on this, work on the inner healing, or work on healing a relationship, making things better. I mean, it's really positive. Look at that, page of wands. This is excitement. This is kind of like the person who feels the challenge of like they're gonna about to run a 5K. It's not drab and boring. This is someone who's up to the task, up to the challenge. Okay, I am up to the challenge. I'm excited about this. I'm excited to work on this stuff with you. Yeah, so there will be communication over this weekend and through the holiday as well, where it's like, can we talk? You know, um, I know things have been tough. I know there's been a, like it's been a it's been an uphill battle, but I'm super excited to start my life with you. All right, can we find out who this is, please? Can we tell Virgo. Okay, for some of you, there's a Pisces. But I will say this person has been waiting. <laughs> they have been, oh my goodness. Um, I'm not going to tell you unless I get a court card or I spin the dice there. But um, right now I will say this person I'm feeling 
has been waiting for the right time to make this happen, to bring this forward, okay? Now, yeah, it could be a Pisces, but there is an energy of like, I've been waiting for a girl like you, for a guy like you. Okay, yes. Um, big, big change, huge, big change, huge, ready to make, come out of the comfort zone, ready to do this. Even relocation, travel, uh, there could be a geographical challenge, like I said. Okay, so we've got an energy of justice. And you know what? It's sitting here on challenges, and I feel like this is doing the right thing. Um, despite the challenges, that's what I feel like. This is in favor. This is a favorable, like, uh, this reading makes me so happy for you. It does. There's going to be communication. Hey, what do you think about us, you know, actually taking us to the next level? What do you think? You, you, you down? Do you love me? I love you. I know we have these challenges, but we can work on them together. You know, let's, let's do it the right way. You know, Virgo, this is, yeah. Okay, we still want to know who this is. Justice is Libra, but let's see. Can you give Virgo a court card? Masculine or feminine? So Virgo has an idea of who this person is, who's coming in. Okay, now you've got the emperor. No court cards. Like, maybe they don't want you to know. We have Aries energy here. This person is, like, coming in. Top of the line. They're like, I'm ready. I'm mature. I've grown up. I'm ready to do it. I'm mature and I'm ready to go. Okay. Um, I'm not taking any more love offers or anybody else. I'm not interested in anybody else. I want to be with you. Yeah, I've cut them all off. Yep, I said that's it. I'm done. I'm ready to make this shift. Wow, Virgo. Holy wow. Considering this week's messages have been like kind of crazy, Virgo. <laughs> You're standing in your power, whatever power you, you have going on. Um, I mean, look at you. You are just solo. You're doing your thing. You're beautiful. You're extraordinarily handsome. And that even just doing your thing and being happily independent makes you more attractive because you you show yourself as not being like simpy or desperate. You're showing yourself as like independent. I can take care of business and, you know, the challenge might be for you to be like, you know what? I actually kind of do like my being on my own and being independent and single. <laughs> this person might have that challenge. Virgo's kind of like, well, why should I give up this awesome life I have? For what? What are you doing? What do we got here? I mean, yeah, Virgo, I, I don't know. Vir the Nine of, Nine of Pentacles doesn't really sit there in a lovey-dovey energy, but... There might be a reason why you're in that position, okay? Um, maybe you just said, hey, you know what? I'm going to focus on my work. I'm going to focus on school. I'm going to focus on my duties and uh, my luxuries and the things I love to do. And, of course, that draws in um, an, a suitor, okay? Whether it's someone new or uh, that you've just been waiting for a long time um, or there's a reconciliation, um, yeah, there's there's both of that energy here all right we still want to know though virgo's like asking who is this person who is coming in who is this person who's showing up i feel like they're just giving me character traits like this person was tremendously hesitant or they might have been anti-commitment look at this got the ace of cups oh my god virgo i know you're asking who is this new person or who is this new love or who is this person coming in and there's your king of cups King Cups have been showing up in your readings a lot, so Virgo, I mean, this weekend, I just feel like I need to tell you, I don't even want to do a secondary reading to this. I feel like I just want this to be the entire reading, but I feel like this weekend, um, <laughs> you're going to be, I don't know if you're going to be surprised or if you're just going to, it's just like, oh, what a gracious gift of love that's coming in like a blessing so king of cups is cancer scorpio pisces that could be their sun but it could also be their moon and their rising their venus they could have a lot of water element in their in their chart so i mean you know your person if you have a person if you don't then yeah it is somebody coming in i will tell you the king of cups not usually someone who wears their heart on their sleeve they're extremely sensitive 
which is why they don't wear the heart on their sleeve. But if they do wear the heart on their sleeve, they must have some other kind of um, sign somewhere in their chart that gives them a sense of security because the, the water sign, uh, masculine or feminine, are just, they're not necessarily insecure, but they are definitely uh, very sensitive. This is someone who's very sensitive. Um, you know, emotionally sensitive. I mean, if it's a Pisces, like, you basically, like, that, like you have to be like an angel because Pisces will run away crying. Pisces are very much the criers of the zodiac. <laughs> if it's a Cancer, you know, Cancers are, um, oh, they, they bite back. They clip. They bite back, you know. Um, they get that hard shell. They bite back. Um, and Scorpios, I mean, they have a hard shell, but they're also revengeful and they will sting you, you know, but they, they are very protective of themselves. So, you know, I mean, <laughs> that might be the challenge in itself, Virgo, for you to be with a water sign. Um, cause you really do have to activate your empathy when it comes to them, you know, um, if it's really just, you know, their son or, you know, if it's prominent, otherwise it doesn't have to be a water sign, but there is water somewhere attached to this person. Okay. Um, you have to be very supportive and loving and to understand them, you know. Uh, anything else Virgo needs to know for this weekend? Ooh, <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> um, okay, you have the devil and the six of cups, so Virgo's going to be running with the devil. Yeah, Virgo, um, I don't know. There's some type of like the past returning. For some of you or this is someone like you could have known in your childhood um this relationship but this is your achilles heel this person this is someone who like there is a you're bound to each other although i have to say and we do have children here on this card um but they're not these children are not bound to this devil they are holding something in their hands though and i'm Fortunately, I can't make out what it is, but it might be a weight. Uh, weight. Um, I will say, though, you know, it's interesting because these two are not bound to this devil. Look, the handcuffs are like off of them. There's no chains holding them. So you might have broken free from um, some type of obsessiveness or a feeling of like, I can't live without this person. If you were feeling that way with this, if you knew this person before, you're feeling that way. You're not under some kind of devil demon spell with this person anymore. And they are not either. There is a, a sense of coming together in love and sincerity here, not a feeling of need. So I feel like that's really healthy, honestly. So, um, you know, if you've already got a connection with this person right now, like you guys are in it, you're in the relationship, it looks like it's really healthy. There's like a freeing. You're free. Yes, there's still the attraction. And there's still the um, not wanting to be without that person. Sure, but it's not desperate. You know what I mean? And it's beautiful. It comes with kindness. The Six of Cups is very kind and sincere and giving and warm and loving. And, and you know, it's a, it's a very beautiful reading. And I'm really happy that you have a very beautiful reading because... I was like yesterday's reading was like what is going on here okay so um let's take a look and just see what chinese sign this person you and this person could be chinese sign for virgos virgo and this person either you or them or both of you year of the rat year of the dog year of the rooster year of the snake sneaky snake year of the monkey rooster again snake again okay year of the goat year of the pig i feel like a rabbit year of the tiger all right and we're gonna get into your your charmy charms and your initials and all that good stuff let's see what do we have here for virgo any other sign virgo needs to be aware of okay they're giving you a taurus person could be a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Double Taurus, Fixed Energy, Fixed Sign. Now, if that doesn't resonate for you, that doesn't mean it's not your person. So keep that in mind. And a Scorpio. Okay, so see, you've got March. Someone was born in March. This could be a Pisces. Oh my goodness, what is happening over here? Okay, at least I don't have the dropsies today. 
and we have someone's name starts with the letter E, someone is 46, um, letter Q, okay, somebody's name could be Elizabeth, um, someone could have an emotional, a high emotional IQ, also I'm hearing, um, some of y'all still have playing with an equalizer or watching that show equalizer okay someone's 31 we have the letter z letter i uh we have izzy someone's nickname is izzy or or an iz name or i just heard zach zachariah okay we have um september 16th okay someone was born in february 1961 or just either one. Okay, you have September 5th, and someone is 60 years of age. They're just saying. Okay, September 19th, someone is 51, someone is 34, and they're just giving me now, we have a zip code, 51660. Um, phone number 6119. Last four digits, 5134, September 5th. So if I call out anything here that resonates for you, it's just more confirmation that it's your reading. If I don't call it out, anything that resonates, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. Okay, initial G. We also have, um, we have another Q and the letter M, 1986. And what else here? All right, the letter L, initial D. Someone's, someone loves gold. Not a fan of silver, definitely a fan of gold, I just heard. Or someone's buying gold as well. Um, so 1974, okay, phone number, last four digits, 7434-5186. Eight three four six three four six zero. Okay, let's get a couple of charms here, Virgo. Let's see what your charm messages are for the weekend. I just saw the letter B, as in boy. Okay, so here's a seahorse again. This is a black seahorse. So someone has a connection to black seahorses, or maybe you have um. No, yeah, that's it. Just a connection to the black seahorse. You also have an actual horse. So somebody could be a horse. A horse is a horse is a horse, of course. And then I'm just picturing Meg Ryan in that old uh, Sleepless in Seattle. Remember? She was like, horses, 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 horses. It was Christmas. Okay. Am I aging myself here? Yes. Of course I am. Okay. So we also have a kitty cat. You might have a kitty. Kitty cat. You have namaste as well. That's significant to someone. They use that term. Somebody uses that or says that. Okay. Um, somebody has a cat named namaste. <laughs> That's cute. Um, you have also a tree. Oh, uh, somebody might be doing their... Their... their family tree um either paying for it or writing it out or maybe giving it a giving it as a gift over the weekend or receiving it a family tree heirloom of some kind or have that um and there's also a leaf um some of you are <laughs> need to put water if you have a christmas tree a live christmas tree you need to put water on it because i feel like it's starting to die so they just said um if you are someone who has a live Christmas tree and you, they're, all right, they're not saying this or showing it to me, but they're showing me an, uh, like a moving picture here. If you leave for work in the morning and at your tree, it, like you have the heat on or whatever, throw in like a dozen ice cubes before you leave in the morning or overnight. So they melt, right? Um, just leave them there and then the, the tree will have the water. I don't know why they're saying ice cubes. I mean, I guess you could just put water in there, but they just said ice cubes. Okay something to do with ice cubes who knows anyway you also have a moon um and this looks like an air i keep get, they're giving me the word heirloom they keep saying heirloom um don't know what, don't know how that would resonate for you they just the word is just 
heirloom. I just also heard the name Ethan. E-T-H-A-N. Ethan. So this moon, okay, so they're showing me this 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 heirloom moon. Um, they're showing me this on a wrought iron fence. So kind of looks a little bit like that in some way, but it's an heirloom with a wrought on a wrought iron fence or some kind of iron um, outdoor decoration or something. I mean, how cool is that? That might be very old Victorian. Um, that you see somewhere um, could be part of um, um, decor of some sort or on a fence outside maybe it's it, but it's metal if like iron or metal okay could be on like oh, maybe it's on like your grandmother's wrought iron fence somewhere in your past I'm not really sure exactly but I'm, I'm just I just see that image here so I'm not I'm not gonna confirm that any longer um, yeah, and then there's a wreath. This is a Christmas wreath. Okay, so yeah, happy holidays, Virgo. Christmas wreath. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Yeah, I'm going to leave that right there for you. Um, I hope you enjoy that. Yeah, it's Christmas. So this weekend, I hope if you celebrate, uh, whatever you do, I hope you have um, lots of merry fun and you enjoy your weekend and um, that you take some time off, Virgo to get your things done, and then to go have a glass of wine and just relax. Um, do follow me over on Facebook. The link is in the description box below. Um, I'm probably not going to be taking any readings next week either, personal readings. Like, I know, listen, it's the holiday. I am taking a break, but I hope that you guys do the same, okay? So I'll try to upload some shorts or just something that you'll have so we could just kind of all stay connected over the holidays, or maybe I'll post something and uh, share in the festivities with you. It won't be completely gone, but um, if I can get actual videos uploaded, if I actually am like bored with this weekend, <laughs> which I probably won't be, but you know, and there's family and it's like, all right, y'all, I need a break. I'll try to get something out to you, but um, I will definitely stay active. I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic, lovely, lovely weekend. And I really hope that all this comes through for you. That would be the greatest blessing and wish I could ever ask for for you. So yeah, enjoy your holidays, enjoy your family, enjoy your soul tribe, and I will see you all back here on Tuesday. All right, love you, bye. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.